G'day everyone, welcome to our next edition of Ask Us. Today's question is about closed loop transmissions and how we cool the circuit, but also how we get the leakage oil and make it up in the loop itself. So let's have a quick look at what a closed loop transmission is and then how we actually cool it and look after it. So here we have a basic diagram of a closed loop transmission. The basic premise is that we have a pump and from the pump we deliver our oil straight to a motor and from the motor, the return goes back to the pump. And it works in a closed loop, just keeps going round and round. Now this is good, we can control it. There's no extra valves in there to create heat in the circuit. The idea being that we have good control forward and reverse just by operating the swash plate, either manually or using pilot circuit. Now of course, the big problem, or maybe not a problem, but what we have is leakage oil. So out of our motor and out of our pump. And so we know that there's a case drain and we get some flow out of both pump and a motor just as the normal course of a, a hydraulic circuit. In the pump and the motor, we use it to lubricate internal bearings, surfaces, and to keep the pump running properly while it's working. If we lose a little bit of oil out of each side of the, the pump and the motor, eventually our return side runs out of oil and it would cavitate. To fix this, our closed loop transmissions use a boost pump or a charge pump. And so here I've drawn very quickly our charge pump. So we've got a charge pump here, it draws from the tank down the bottom and we deliver oil into two check valves and they allow the oil to go into the low pressure side or the low pressure leg of our closed loop transmission. So while we have high pressure up here, this check valve is closed and this one is allowed to open and we can push oil out into the loop and make sure that we keep it um, full and also help with cooling. Because we have a boost pump here or a charge pump, we've also got what we know as our charge relief or our boost relief. And this sets the maximum pressure that our, our pump can put out into this particular loop. It's usually set fairly low, maybe 30 or 40 bar, because all we're trying to do is put oil into our opposite side there. So that's how we get oil in to make up for our leakage and it also helps to cool the circuit by pushing oil out. Now our, our tank down the bottom here, it's just a normal everyday tank, it can be a lot smaller because it's a closed loop transmission and therefore we don't get as much cooling out of it. So to cool a closed loop transmission, often what we'll do is we'll include in here, under this side, a hot oil shuttle or a purge valve. So off the legs near our motor, and we prefer to take it near the motor, we use this valve here to take oil out of the loop. And when we pile it on this side, it opens the valve up, and this valve is like a sequence valve to make sure we maintain pressure in there, and we also have an orifice there to make sure we don't get too much flow out. So we use this arrangement to allow us to take oil out, and we might take that oil out, and we use this one to put oil back in. Now, as we take the oil out of the circuit, what we might do is take it down and put it through a filter and a cooler before we put it back to the tank. And therefore, we are cooling and filtering the circuit as we normally operate it. It becomes like an offline circuit, but it's actually integral to the circuit itself. The other way that we might filter the oil is we could go from our boost pump straight into a filter and then bring it back into our circuit. And by doing that, we're filtering the oil before we put it into the loop and it gives us a better filtration of the system. It's not very common that we will have a inline filter in our working legs of our boost circuit. The problem being that if we run it in one direction, the filter will work, but we've then got to have some sort of bypass check to allow it to run in the opposite direction. So not a very common thing. So there it is. There's our closed loop transmission and how we get oil in and out of the circuit for cooling and filtration. Basically, we have a charge pump. The charge pump has a job of pushing oil into the circuit. And normally, we have a hot oil shuttle or a purge relief, which allows us to take oil out and allow us to use that oil to cool it and filter it. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Again, shoot us your questions. Let us know what you want to know next and leave any feedback you can. We'd love to hear what you think.